642 here on 13 Sunrise. New this morning, a young woman who spent most of her childhood around doctors is back in the hospital, though this time it's for work. Yeah, Emma Stump had an inoperable brain tumor, but so she's using that experience to help others. John is joining us live with how a local health family is giving her a chance to get back. Good morning, John. Good morning, Julia. Community Hospital South bringing Emma Stump on as an intern in January and then surprising her with a position they created just for her, a paid position late last month. Coworkers saying it was a no brainer to keep uh, keep Emma on the team and keep her in the building. Excuse me. Meet Community Hospital South's newest employee. Everyone was really excited because we didn't know if this would ever happen or not. Emma Stump was brought on with the surgery center last month. Thank you. It's the 19 year old's first paying job after working here as an intern since January. They told me we'd like to hire you and I'm glad my mask was on because my mouth literally dropped open. I was like, what? No way. Stump spent much of her childhood working with healthcare workers. When she was seven, Doctors discovered an inoperable brain tumor. Right now, it's been calm, so not growing or anything. And it's the time she spent with healthcare professionals that drew her to a career in it. Because I'm a patient, so I know how it feels to be the patient. She comes in, doesn't hesitate, starts working, and she just does a fantastic job for us. She sanitizes cabinets, counters, anything she can possibly reach, and she will help us fold pillowcases, patient bags get waters, anything that anyone needs. She is more than willing to help us. It's her positive attitude every single day that touches everyone. I like being able to help others the way they've helped me. She's an inspiration, definitely an inspiration to all of us. And she's always finding new ways to brighten the spirits around her, leaving cards like these all around the hospital. We weren't really sure where they were coming from and we found them everywhere. She's incredible, she really is. She's exactly what we needed here, just her positive energy and sweet spirit. I was like on the bench or out there in the lobby, like on a chair or something, or even at the nurse's station for the nurses, just to make someone smile and have a good day. You'll always find Emma hard at work. Go check that off the list. Doing anything she can to make someone else's day a little easier. So I like being able to help others and what they're going through and keeping them safe and happy and healthy. Yeah, and if you're wondering just how independent Emma is, on top of the duties she performs every single day she comes to work, her coworkers say she actually takes the bus to and from work. They're just continually blown away by her independence and of course the smile and uh, joy she brings to work with her every day, guys. John, does she interact with, with patients a lot? And do, they, do they find that inspirational as well? She's, she's usually um, in the hallway. She'll, she'll leave those cards you saw in the package around for patients to pick up. But she's usually um, in the rooms once patients are gone, pick, taking the, the pillowcases, um, the things n overnight nurses uh, left behind. But she's mainly uh, interacting with other nurses. Okay. John, thank you so much. What a great story. Love it. Oh, yes. Emma. Love yeah. that. Well,